Hi everyone, my name is Dinesh Sarasena and I'm a consultant in sports medicine. I use ultrasound regularly in my clinical practice and I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've learned along the way. Today we're going to be talking about injections around the supraspinatus tendon, particularly into the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. Just as a reminder, here's some ways to position the patient or subject when undertaking imaging of the supraspinatus tendon and injections into the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. You can either have the subject sitting upright with their hand on the back pocket, or you can have them lying on their side, again with their hand on the back pocket position. This exposes the tendon and the bursa adequately, and it should be enough to allow you to undertake the imaging and the procedure. Here's a reminder on how to handle and hold the transducer when undertaking your imaging. It's important to have as stable an image as possible. This is relevant for not only imaging of the supraspinatus tendon, but it's also really important when you're undertaking procedures. In this image, we can see how to position the needle when undertaking an injection into the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. Using an in-plane technique, we want to make sure that the needle is as parallel as possible to the transducer and in line with it so that we can see it entering the tissue and also entering the bursa. Here we see the supraspinatus tendon in a long axis view. In this orientation, it's ideal to see the needle come in as parallel as possible to the transducer. And in this orientation, it should simply glide into the bursa. And as you inject the fluid, the bursa should lift off the supraspinatus tendon. Here, we have the supraspinatus tendon in a short axis view. Again, as far as possible, we should aim to introduce the needle parallel to the transducer so that we can see it horizontal on our image as we guide it into the bursa. Once in the bursa and as we're performing the injection, the fluid should not only separate the bursa from the tendon, but we should see the fluid flow into other areas of the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you found it useful and you learned something that you can apply in your clinical practice, particularly when undertaking ultrasound guided imaging and interventions. If you did like the video, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. Remember, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I hope to see you all very soon and take care for now.